What's up YouTube, Brian here back in with another video and today we are doing a video that is long overdue. I've been using the crap out of these reels since they came out and we're going to talk and do a little bit of a deep dive today and we're going to talk about the $200 to $240-ish price point battle between spinning reels from both um, Shimano and Daiwa. We're going to we're going to focus specifically on the Daiwa um, Stratic F, I'm sorry, the T Shimano Stratic FL and the Vanford and the Daiwa Tatula LT and the Ballistic. There's got to be an asterisk with the ballistic. We'll get to that later. But anyway, so first off, I got to plug my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do a lot of daily content there. I post more frequently to my Instagram than I do to YouTube. So if you're not following me, I'm following me there. Please check me out. That being said, getting out of the way, I'm just going to preface this by saying I am a very big spinning tackle addict. Uh, I fish a lot of finesse. I'm up here in Minnesota and I fish over in Wisconsin for both largemouth and smallmouth, and I almost pretty much have a spinning rod on the deck at all times. I'm a spinning rod addict, I love spinning tackle, and subsequently, I love spinning reels. Now, <clears throat> we're blessed right now. We're in a great time period where you can get some amazing spinning reels for like around 200 bucks. Like you can get some flagship level quality reels for around $200. You don't necessarily need to go up to that like three, four, five, even like $700 price range to really get um, good value for your money. Um, my The two rock stars in this space right now are definitely the um, Daiwa Tatula LT. This guy's been out for a few years. I went all in on these when they first came out because I really loved them. So I have, I think of about six of these at the moment and I've been pounding the crap out of them. So we're gonna talk about ta the Tatula. And then also you have the sh two options from Shimano. You have the Stratic FL, which comes in that at that 199 to 220 price range. Now remember, Depending on the spool size, you're gonna get different prices from Shimano. So, and both of these in my hands are 3000s, which they're a little, they're a couple bucks more than the 2500 version. So yeah, on the Stratic FL, the 2500 is 220. And if you go, I'm sorry, to $200, so 199 for the 2500 size of this. And if you step up to the 3000, you're gonna be playing 220. So there's a $20 uh, price bump to go up to the bigger spool. Now, if you're not familiar, going from a 2500 size Shimano, to a 3000, the body of the reel, this part, the lower part, the handle, everything is essentially the same. You get a different knob, but the spool is bigger. So you get a bigger spool, wider, taller, um, more line capacity in the 3000 versus a 2500, so that's why you're paying that extra money. On the Daiwa side, these things are 199 up and down the sides. Doesn't matter if you get a 4000, a 1000, a 2000, 25, whatever, it don't matter. It's 199. Daiwa does not give you price increases with the bigger size reels. I think that's great. So that's a plus on the Daiwa side. Um, so let's dive in here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna start talking, let's let's dive into the Tatula. So this is just a killer reel, but it has some flaws and some problems. So out of the box, the Daiwa Tatula, the handles on these things are noisy. Uh, everyone who buys one of these, you're gonna notice this right away, there's a little bit of a knock in the handle. And that's because these handles use shims and they are not shimmed tightly from the factory 99.9% .9 of the time. I've replaced all of the shims on my handles on my Daiwa Tatula LTs with cheap bearings. Uh, it's a very simple, um, very quick fix you can do on uh, just ordering some bearings off Amazon. I'll leave links in the description where you can get those. So anyway, the, the handle bearing upgrade on these things makes a big difference, makes the handle feel way more solid, way more uh, like the Shimano's come from the factory. Shimano's, there's no play in the handles right from the factory. So if you want that tightness, replace the shims on these things. Um, the biggest Achilles heel, I'm gonna get this right out of the way. The biggest Achilles heel with this particular reel um, and also with the ballistic is the fact that these backwind and have anti-reverse clutches. So right here, Shimano does not, Shimano got rid of these. Um, Dai was still keeping it alive. But if you click this, you can now back reel. And I don't know anybody that back reels that's under 70 years old. Back reeling is not really a thing anymore. Trust the drag on these reels. The drag is fantastic on these reels. You don't really need the back reel. Um, but Shimano keeps this, I'm sorry, Daiwa keeps this feature in the reels, which means it's a failure point. There's a lot of people out there who have the Daiwa Tatula LTs where the anti-reverse clutch starts to slip. I've had it happen. My, my, one of my best friends has it happen. That is a failure point on these reels that does fail. Some people don't have any problems with anti-reverse. Some people do. You know when the anti-reverse is starting to slip because your reel starts to reel backwards uh, and it doesn't lock in. Uh, so I, would, I really hope that in the next version of the Tatula 
hopefully they get rid of the um, the switch, right? Get rid of the anti-reverse. Just take it out of the equation altogether. Be like Shimano. They got rid of that a long time ago. That makes this reel um, have less maintenance problems, less issues, right? Okay, so that being said, the anti-reverse on this is a, is a choke point, a bad point. It needs maintenance. Sometimes you have to replace it. The good news is replacing the anti-reverse clutch on these is not terribly expensive. The part is around $13 to $15. You send it to a real tech or send it to Daiwa, they can replace the anti-reverse pretty simply. It's not a big problem, but it is definitely an Achilles heel. It's a problem with this. Uh, another on the plus side with the Daiwa is that it, its weight is fantastic. These are only 6.3 ounces. Um, it is literally the exact same weight as the Vanford. So if you're going to Vanford to Tatula comparison, they both are pretty much in that 6.3 ounces. Both are um, really light. Like if you want a lightweight spinning reel, you can't really go wrong with either of these. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the spools on these two are way different. Um, the Vanford opted for a long stroke spool. So the spool on the Vanford is considerably taller. I don't know if you can see that, but the Vanford, um, let's spin that around. So the Daiwa's, the Daiwa spool is flatter and wider. The Vanford spool is taller. Now where that comes into play is definitely with lighter baits. Um, when I'm throwing hair, like light hair jigs or Okashira screw heads that have the, um, the metal, um, blade on it where that catches some air. So when you're throwing lighter baits, the Vanford or the Stratic with that long stroke spool, these do toss lighter baits further. I've used the same rod like a Mega Bass Felissa or a uh, NRX 902 and I've thrown, I've, I've literally strapped on the Vanford and the Stratic and I've strapped on the Tatula and these things outcast those with light baits. That's just a fact. It's just, if you're gonna throw really light tackle, definitely consider going with the Shimano reels. Uh, that's something they're really good at. So um, the other thing too is the Daiwa Tatula LTs do not have water protection. If you want the um, X-Protect, you have to go with the either the Ballistic or down to the Fuego. The Fuego has an X-Protect, the Ballistic has an X-Protect, the Tatula does not. What does that mean? Not having water protection in this makes this reel have to have a maintenance a little, little more often. Um, I have a couple of these that are starting to feel a little geary. Uh, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but I think that, uh, my, my ballistics that I've used the, in the same amount of time don't have that geary kind of feeling. They're still super, super smooth. And I think that's because of that X protect. It's not letting water get into the case. Um, I have these sit, these things sit out in the rain. I get, I drop them in the lake or the river once in a while. Um, you know, they do get wet. And I think uh, not having that X protect on the Tatula LT just means that you're gonna maybe have to be a little more Johnny on the spot with the maintenance on these reels versus the Stratix or the um, Ballistics. Sorry, not X. Sorry, I called the X protect is what's on the Shimano reels. I just realized that I was picking those up. Um, what is the? Uh, I'm gonna sound like an idiot now because I can't remember the Daiwa version of the waterproofing. Oh, one second, let me look. Yeah, the um, Mag Seal. I, I, I know it's called Mag Seal. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm in a stream of consciousness. I'm just talking. So, yeah, the Mag Seal. So, the Fuego and the Ballistic have the Mag Seal. The, um, the LT does not. So, that's something to consider if you really want low maintenance. Uh, I mean, theoretically, with the Mag Seal on the Daiwa reels, you do need to get that fluid, the, the anti, um, the magnetic fluid that's in this that keeps the, uh, the water from going into the gear case. Uh, you technically do need to uh, have that replaced, like an oil change, like on a car every X amount of years. But anyway, something to consider when you're talking about these reels. Now, um, when these Vanfords first came out, I bought a bunch of these. I used them. I really do like these. These are very out of the box. These things feel so like tight and refined. Um, so do the Tatulas. These don't feel bad out of the box. But after using them a long time and really beating on these things, my Tatulas are starting to feel a little looser. Um, they're starting to feel a little rougher, whereas the Vanfords and especially the Stratic FLs that I have, they feel a lot still like more like out of the box, right? Like they feel like they're still a little more, um, they don't need as much maintenance. Um, they still feel really just as smooth as the day I took them out of the box. So I think longevity after using them hard for like a season or two, I think the Shimano reels, in my opinion, definitely win out. Um, 
Now that's not counting the ballistic. I, I, I've beaten the crap. This is like my main drop shot reel. I've used this reel so much because it is literally on my drop shot rod. This thing still feels like the day I got it. Um, the, the ballistic is still extremely smooth. It feels really, really good. So I'd say the Tatula LT's downside is probably not having that water protection, allowing some water and gunk to get into the case, which means you're gonna have to maintenance these things a little longer. One of the, I'm just going to bounce, keep bouncing all over the place. But one of the plus things on this is the price. Now this is $199, but you can get Tatula LTs on discount. A lot of companies and a lot of websites will allow you to drop codes on these things. I've gotten these things for like 150 bucks, even like $140 brand new. So you can get these things on discounts, shops, um, pre COVID had a bunch of these and you could get them. Like if you bought a whole bunch of these, you could get like the price down pretty low. I know someone who did a bulk buy on these things and got them for like 125, a real brand new. So for the price, if you want an under $200 spinning reel, that looks fantastic. I mean, it's got that matte black. Uh, it's super smooth, really light. Uh, got that, you know, Daiwa quality, right? This is just a really hard reel to beat in the sub 200 price point. If you don't mind spending over 200, you're definitely getting into the Stratic FL and Vanford range. Now, I love both of these reels equally. The um, Stratic FL is a slightly heavier version of the Vanford. This is a different material. This is, the, uh, this is built out of the CI4 Plus from Shimano, so this thing's the lightweight version. But this guy, man, this thing is a tank. Um, one of the best, one of the things I love the Stratic FL for is winter fishing. If you fish in really cold sub like 30 or less degrees, like you fish in the harshest, nastiest cold, this reel does not skip a beat. Um, I have used this reel for winter fishing for three seasons now, and it never, ever, ever has a problem. Whereas this thing gets a little wet in, in the cold, that anti reverse starts to fail. It gets ice into anti reverse and it's useless. Like until you can get this thing in a truck or warm it up, it, it, it basically is done for the day. This thing is a freaking tank. I love this rod. I'm sorry, I love this reel for terrible weather conditions or just really harsh, harsh fishing, harsh conditions. You are gonna have a hard time finding a better workhorse reel than the Stratic. Uh, FL. Love this thing. It's a little bit heavier. It's a little over, it's a little, it's about an ounce and three, 1.3 ounces heavier than the Vanford, but it is also cheaper. These things are like that hundred or 200 to $220 range. The Vanford's price just went up. So this is in the 3000, this is now a $240 reel. So you can go out and get a 3000 size Tatula for about, I don't know, anywhere from 175, maybe even less, 240. So the price the price gap between these two reels is getting to be so big now that the Tatula, I'm sorry, the Tatula is starting to look like a better and better option. So my conclusion with all of these reels is simple. None of these are bad options. You can't go wrong with any of these reels. They are all good. There's really, there's little pluses and minuses with all of them. You're, if you go out and spend the money and you want a really good refined lightweight, uh, beautiful looking, uh, smooth spinning reel. The whole family of these is going to get the job done. You can't really can't go wrong. I would just literally go by what brand you like, what aesthetics you want for the rod you're going to put these on, the weight concerns. If you want some, if you have a rod that's a little tip heavy or a little longer, you might want that Stratic FL with that extra weight. Um, if you want super lightweight, you want to go with these guys. Uh, the ballistic is a bit of a tricky one because I'm sorry, the ballistic is a little bit of a tricky one. I'm sorry, the ballistic and the Vanford look so like that I keep mixing them up, but, um, the ballistic is a tricky one because Daiwa is basically discontinuing this version of it. And there's a new version with the monocoque body coming out, uh, hopefully this summer. So this is getting a full reboot to the monocoque body, the same body that we've seen in the Certe, uh, in the Exist, in the Kage. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna definitely be picking up the ballistic with the monocoque body uh, when it comes out this summer. So anyway, if you can find these, maybe these are gonna show up on discount. Maybe shops are sitting on these things and you can get these on sale. So keep an eye out for, for sale. Um, our sale price ballistic LTs. If you can scoop these up, these are fantastic. I definitely would take this over the Tatula at around the same price. So it's just something to consider. Now I like the Tatula. I think the Tatula LT is going to get a refresh with a monocoque body at some point, maybe in two, three years. So I, I have a feeling they're not gonna really update these until that next version comes out. That's just a hunch. I don't know anything about that. No one's told me anything. This is just me speculating based on Daiwa's trends. 
But if the monocoque version of the ballistic is coming, that means the Tatula monocoque is going to come at some point. So um, if I were to go out and buy a reel right now, like if I was going to go out and buy a brand new spinning reel for a new rod, I'm picking up a Vanford. I just am um, because of the lower amount of maintenance. The price sucks. The price height went up a little bit. It kind of makes this slightly less appealing at $240 for the 3000 size. But I'm still going to pick this thing because I don't have to upgrade the bearing on the handle. Um, the X-Protect is going to make this thing be lower maintenance for longer. And this thing is great at tossing light baits. I think the plus column on the Vanford is higher. There's more pluses in the plus column than there is on the Tatula. But if you're price conscious and you're only considering price, you can't go wrong with the Tatula. This is a very good reel. I have six of these. I've beaten the crap out of them. They've given me no troubles other than the occasional... Um, other than the occasional anti-reverse clutch slipping on these things, they've been they've been great. Um, they look great. I think this the flat black everything on the uh, Tatula LT is just sick. It goes on every. You can put it on any rod and it looks good. Doesn't matter what brand. Um, so anyway, my point is we're spoiled. Uh, if you want to go out and get a good spinning reel for around 200 bucks, there's so many good options right now. All four of these you can purchase and be completely happy. So I. I I know this was like a weird video where I just kind of ranted and raved about these reels, but I've used these a lot. Uh, this one's new, but I have a couple of these that are still on some rods that I've used the crap out of. Um, <clears throat> this one is new as well, uh, but my main winter fishing rod is out in the garage and that's got one of these on there that, that I've beaten the crap out of. So um, anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a, uh, a comment down in the description. Um, I'll leave some links where you can pick up some of these reels. Uh, finding spinning reels right now is really tough, especially Vanford's. Uh, even Tayo Tatula LTs are hard to find right now. So good luck finding any of these spinning reels in stock anywhere anytime soon. But uh, if you liked the video and you've made it this long, please hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.